Hey guys, uh, welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be adding a leather grip to this tennis racket to see how it affects the weight, balance, and swing weight of the racket. I've got the current weight, balance, and swing weight listed here. For this tutorial, we're gonna be using my Head Extreme Tour that I've been slowly modifying um, as I've gotten used to the racket. The first modification I made was I added six inches of lead tape here hidden underneath the grommets. Uh, if you'd like to see how to do that, you can check out my last video where I modified uh, some head extreme MPs, and I'll link that in the description below. Having said that, let's get started by taking off the factory grip and then we'll get going. So we're just gonna peel off this tape here and get to removing the grip. Uh, nothing too exciting. These factory grips are typically uh, lighter and softer than a leather grip. So they're gonna filter out a few more vibrations. Uh, the benefits of the leather grip is that it's gonna be firmer. You can feel the bevels a little bit better and it's gonna give you a little bit more feedback. I'm gonna use a tennis warehouse leather grip here. Their product is comparable if not better to many of the other manufacturers and it's a little bit cheaper. They also make plenty of options. You can get these in black or this tan color and there's two different thicknesses. This is a good opportunity that if you wanna go down a little bit with your grip size, you can opt for the thinner one, which I've done here. Or if you wanna beef up the grip size a little bit, you can opt to go with the thicker version. As I start wrapping this grip here, I'm gonna start about a millimeter or two below the level of the butt cap. That way, once I wrap this first revolution around the butt cap, that corner is going to be completely covered. You don't ever want that to be popping out and then become, you know, loose or start picking at it later. So I like to make sure that first little bit is entirely covered. Another thing that's really important is to pull with a lot of tension here. Um, you want to make sure that both the bottom and top of the grip are firmly against the pallet. You can see here that I'm just trying to see that everything was laid down nice and tight. As you get past the end of the butt cap there, you're in the clear and you just need to kind of wrap it like you would an overgrip, getting the right amount of overlap. We know that adding this grip is gonna add about 10 to 15 grams to the overall static weight of the racket and also change the balance a little bit. But what I'm really interested to see here is what happens to the swing weight. Swing weight's measured from four inches up the racket. So adding any weight beyond that four inch point should impact the swing weight. The handle's longer than four inches, and so we are gonna be adding some heavier leather grip above that four inch point. But from everything I've seen and experienced, the swing weight almost never increases when doing this. This is because the little bit of weight that does get added above that four inch point is still so close to that point that it doesn't quite make a difference. You can see here that I've reached the top of the handle, and so I'm marking that point of the grip where it meets the handle with a Sharpie. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap around. I like to be really careful with this section of the grip. I have a two-handed backhand, and so this is right where the index finger of my left hand is gonna lay. So I just like to make sure that everything's nice and flat and wrapped tight around there. You can see I'm kind of double checking, pulling lots of tension in the grip as I go around. I've almost reached the end, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the marker here, and I'm going to mark again another point where the grip meets the top of the handle. Once we get this marked off, we're gonna take a straight edge and draw a line between those two points and then just cut it and tape it as you would an overgrip. We're gonna get the specs now, starting with the weight. We know that that leather grip's gonna add somewhere in the range of 10 to 15 grams. And in this case, it's added just over 12 grams. We end up with a final static weight of 335 Seven. As we move to get the balance, I want to ask you guys to please, please like and subscribe. It really helps support the channel and helps me to keep making these videos for you guys. So we're going to see here in this case that adding the leather grip moves the balance point about one centimeter towards the butt of the racket. So fun fact, if you were to take an unstrung racket and string it, that moves the balance point about one centimeter closer to the head. But then if you took the regular factory grip and replace it with a leather grip, that's gonna move it back to about where it all started. Moving on to get the swing weight here. This is the moment of truth. We're expecting it not to change, but seeing is believing.
All right, guys, so the rumors are true. Adding a leather grip does in fact not increase the swing weight of your racket. So if you're in the market to add about 10 to 15 grams to the static weight of your racket, this could be a good solution for you. Please don't forget to support the channel by liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.